Hello guys, and I hope y'all having an awesome, awesome day. So y'all see I have on this red, beautiful dress. So we're gonna do a topic today, okay? We're gonna talk about love and getting married and getting trying to get acceptance from the family and everybody to get on board. So I got one nephew is just getting married, okay? So I'm gonna share a little family time with y'all. So I think that when weddings come up, if you got somebody getting married, Sometimes women, we would go, they would go to their significant other. I want to be married. I want to be married because there's love in the air. There's marriage. You know, other people's getting married. So it makes everybody special. You had this, oh God, 10 year, 15 year relationship. And then you want to put pressure on your partner's neck. Let's get married. Let's get married. So do y'all remember Oprah Winfrey said this? She said, they was talking about marriage and stuff. And Oprah, point blank, marriage ain't for me. Marriage ain't for everybody, you know what I'm saying? So Oprah then been with Stet, Stetman, if I'm saying his name right, for uh, Jesus, can't even count. But she said marriage is not for her. So just letting people know she ain't the one that want to get married. It's not for her. But that don't mean she don't love this man. That don't mean that she, you know, is a God-fearing woman. But she don't follow those terms in the Bible where she feel like she has to be married or she's going to go to hell. So I want to share this story with you guys. So... My daughter-in-law had called me probably a month or so ago. Me and her had a, had a long talk because my son has a tendency. I don't know why he do this. Sometimes I feel like he be messy or he likes to fuck with her. So he always tell my mama don't even like you like that. So he always say that. I remember I told, I've shared a video before and I told y'all she asked me if I like her. I said, stop worrying about what somebody like. That'd be the problem when you enter in these relationships, you're trying to be a people pleaser. But what I see about her, um, I know she loves my son and, and I'm going to be honest at one point I wasn't really digging the relationship because I felt like she was a social, a real big social person and everywhere they go, she'll post it. We at the Bulls game, we at Target Center, we at here, we here, 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 here. And when you are a person in this world and you got people that don't like you, you posting everywhere that y'all be at. And I feel that it's at great risk because now people know you're gone if they want to break in your house. You know what I mean? Boom, they know ain't nobody there or they assume there ain't nobody there because of all of the public posting. So I, I always said to him, I never liked that she did that. Like she's very public with every detail, you know. So that's the part about her that I don't like. And sometimes she could get in these moves. And I'm for sure there's things about me that she don't like. So that's fine. That's normal. That's normal. So... I told her, I said that it's not that I don't like you. Some of the ways and the things you do, I don't like, I said, but um, I'm going to say this to you. I said, one thing that I know that I've noticed in you, and weirdly, she reminds me of myself a little bit. I, I, I really would have to admit that it's things about her that reminds me of me when I was young, because when it comes to her kids, she's a game planner and she just always makes sure that her kids is well taken care of and she's on top. You know what I mean? That, that. You know what I mean? And she, she, she's, she's a go-getter. She's, you know, she, she is. And all those amazing things I like about her. So I told her, I said, you know what? At one point, I wasn't too sure. A lot of the other girls, and it, and it, it was a lot of things that they would do that, honestly, I can say that I didn't like them. So this particular one, God, thank you for removing this one out of our life because I felt she came with so much chaos and drama. So I didn't want to be a part of her to be in our life. But I can't pick for my son. And I always make that clear. Whoever he pick, and I told him, if he go get a billy goat and say, Mama, this is the woman, I'm going to accept her. Because that's how we was raised. My mama said, if you, you know, if, if you like it, I love it. So I, I'd never be the one to pick for him. But I definitely think that he did have some dangerous women that can, that can cause a tsunami on this earth. So me and her had a long talk. And I said, you know what? I know that you genuinely love my son. I said, one thing I noticed about you, and I think that's fascinating. You watch your man and you see what he loves and what he cares about the most. So he's got other kids. And I and, and she knows that. So she would go around to the women that would allow her to be a stepmom. You know, we got a couple of them ain't getting on board. Fuck, ain't no stepmom. So they don't even let the kids come around. So them pretty much, they bleep they self out. But for the women that's on board with, you know, I'm the woman in, in her daddy's life. I'm going to be here. I'm going to help take care of your child. So she would make her presence known and not in an aggressive way, you know, in a nice way. Hey, how you doing? I want to get the baby. We want to, you know, have a 
baby, whatever. She is on point. So she find the things that her man loves and she notice he loves his kids. So she gravitate and get them kids, which is perfect. I'm the same type of person. I do the same thing. You know, that's what I say. Me and her got a lot of kind. Then she knows he love his mama. She knows he love his mama. So she make it a point to try to make me happy because she knows how much he love his mama. So me and my son relationship, it is, we've always, we have always been close guys, but for the people that know me, I gave birth to two kids. D'Angelo's in heaven. D'Angelo's no longer here. So Dabo is all I got left. He's all I have left. So I am overprotective and you know I, if i can which he's a grown man he make his own decisions but i just be just praying and i'm asking god to protect my son you know why he out here in this world you know i really pray heavily for him and i don't like him to go through drama and tension but it's like my son is is very quiet he's very very quiet and i always explain to her he been through a lot sweetie he been through a lot for this man to lose his daddy his brother which is my son his best friend another brother which he's very close with and for all these people to be tragically killed him walk in the house and find the body he definitely got post-traumatic stress disorder he have a lot of things going on and like i told her so he could be difficult because he shut down a lot i said my son to come here drive all the way from illinois and come here just when he want a peace of mind here lay down there on that couch he don't even be talking to me they be the girl call hey mom what you doing she trying to trick me uh, your son said he was coming there. And then I'd be like, oh, okay. She's like, is he there? I'd be like, he downstairs sleep. I just wanted to know my, my son say, I never even told her I was coming here. But she know his behavior. So he wind up just showing up. So it's like, she had tricked me to get the V. I said, stop doing that. Stop tricking me. That's your man. Ask him, where you at? And he'll tell you I'm with my mama. But stop playing I Spy and, ex and expect your gadget. Don't do that. So I told her, do you want to get married? Because everybody else is getting married. And just the, the the meaning of that. Or do you want to get married because you're truly in love with this man and you want to spend the rest of your life with this man? Or do you want to get married for the gram? And she said, why would you say something stupid to me like that? I don't get married for the gram. And she got me on speaking. My son said, yes, you do. Everything you do, you post it. You put this on the ground, you put that on the ground, you put this on the ground, that on the ground, whatever. But I told her, I said, sweetie, whatever y'all decide to do. She said, well, I'm going to marry. We get married when you get here. When you get here, we go into to the courts. We get. I said, you don't want a nice big wedding? She said, no, nah, I don't want none of that. Your son ain't got no friends anyway. He got two people. <laughs> she said, your, your son hang out with two people. And he don't like a lot of people. So how are we going to have a big wedding? And I said, well, if he only got two people, let him bring his two people plus me. That's three. <laughs> and you bring the whole tribe if that's what you want to do. I said, for that's how I've noticed you've been able to get him to do things he don't normally do. So you, something you're doing, you be convincing him to do a lot of shit I never thought I'd see him do. I'd be like, oh, okay, son. <laughs> okay, son. Okay, okay. But I've learned to mind my business and whatever they want to do, you know, I support it. But like I say, I probably don't like a lot of her ways when she do little stuff. But I love her. My son love her. And I think that she's a great match for him. So if they decide to get married tomorrow, I'll be there with bells and whistles. And I might even just wear this dress. Okay, now I can't get in the courthouse with this. They might think this too much. <laughs> My bad, I'm going to have to cover up. <laughs> so, <laughs> but I just wanted to share that story. So for the people, if y'all want to get married, get married for the right reason. And stop trying to please anybody, everybody. Because sometimes you're going to get mamas, those mama in laws that don't like nobody for their son. You know, stop trying to please everybody. Focus on your partner and making them happy. Like I told you, you ain't got to make me happy. You know what I mean? Whatever my son decide to do he's gonna have my blessings and i've learned now to stay out of grown people business he's a grown man he's not a child some of his mothers be coming in you know doing too much and i don't want to be at the point where i'm ever doing too much in his life i want him to have true happiness so if he decide tomorrow to marry him i'm on board with that so that's all i want to talk about a little love and marriage and you know just just accent you know do y'all think that a lot of people get married for the wrong reasons they want the they see a friend get married and now they you know they probably been in these relationships a long time and now they're forcing the next partner to get married and some of these people are not marriage material meaning they're just not with it like oprah said i am just not the marrying type and not even meaning she's being with other people she just don't 
feel that marriage is a big symbol of love. Like you can be in love without the marriage and you can assimilate all this different type of love. So what's your opinion? Y'all think a lot of people are just getting married because their friend got married or somebody else and different things like that. But like I say, um, me, I'm learning to stay out of people's business and want my son to be happy no matter who he chooses for that to be. So uh, may God bless many of you on your love journey like me. I tell y'all, I desire and deserve to be married. That's what I want to do. But like I said, everybody don't want that. So somebody said, okay, why would I decide to want to be married? Because when you're dating somebody, you're dating somebody and meaning, it, you know, he can go tomorrow. Not saying that I can get married tomorrow. My husband can leave tomorrow. But the difference is I went into that situation under the pretense that I am working toward a future with my husband, not a boyfriend. So I'm not going to put a lot of energy into a boyfriend because I feel like a boyfriend is just somebody you're dating. You know what I mean? I'm not going to put a whole bunch of energy. I'm not going to put my tree growing roots into a guy that's just my boyfriend. I'm not going to do that. So when, when you see I'm not like really with that, no. And I, and I, mean, I'm not, I ain't doing all that. I ain't doing all that. I ain't doing all that. You know, I love them. We'll be together. We'll be happy. But everybody you date ain't meant to be your husband. So learn to enjoy them, love them, date them. But don't put pressure because if it's meant to be, it'll be. But when I get married again, me and my husband going to be magnetic, attracted to each other. You put two magnets together, what they do, they stick. So if I ain't got that type of love, I ain't forcing no marriage because Susie Crew getting married. I ain't doing that. I ain't doing it. I want something genuine. I want him to want to wake up and he want my presence there. He can't sleep without me being in the house. I was looking at Neville Goddard and, you know, he a lot of stuff he was talking about in love. And he was married before. And he said, you know, that was one way. But the next marriage that he got in, he was, he was like a magnet to this other woman. And he desired and wanted to be. A lot of times people get married through... They family value, like, oh, they can't have sex unless they married, and, and there's a lot of pressure. But, you know, congratulations to everybody that's getting married, and I wish y'all to have a long, happy marriage, okay? That y'all uh, love each other, grow old together. But uh, you guys have a happy day. But this is the color red. Represent love, guys. We represent love today. We're in September. We're in September, okay? So you guys have an awesome day, and... Uh, I'll let y'all know if I wind up being a mom-in-law in a couple days, okay? <laughs> Toodles.